welcome to study guide, let's discuss types of product roadmap. A roadmaps come in many forms, and their contents can vary widely. 1. A timeline roadmap. 2. Now next later. 3. Release schedule. 4. A theme roadmap. 5. A tree relationship based roadmap. 6. Outcome oriented roadmap. 7. Customer journey. The first is the most common and contentious is the timeline roadmap. For several reasons, this is the most common format. 1. We're used to measuring and plotting things in terms of time. 2. People are always curious about when things will be completed or when they'll receive something. See we value certainty. Timeline roadmaps clearly outline what will occur on a specific date. 3. A timeline roadmap is similar to a project plan, which some people are more familiar with. Typically, a roadmap would be presented in the form of a timeline or Gantt chart. This guide will help lay out a vision of how traditional road mapping is broken, based on the author's 15 plus years of experience working with product people. Product managers can refocus their efforts by abandoning the linear road map of the past. Nevertheless, it requires bravery and knowledge to deviate from predetermined timeline road maps. Although, there are some downsides, timeline in most cases, a road map just amounts to a wish list of features superimposed on a schedule. This kind, sets a deadline for each task. This necessitates making an educated guess and trusting that it is correct. An over-reliance on dates can lead to a false sense of security and power over the future. Furthermore, it presumes that nothing will occur to alter your strategy. Last but not least, do dates become promises that we break and then have to justify as being behind some arbitrary schedule? Maybe the most popular roadmap format in the product world is the now next later roadmap, also known as a lean roadmap but it's not always the most widely used. The format is straightforward and widely used as a roadmap. Timeline roadmaps are fraught with problems, but you can avoid them while still providing clarity on product direction by removing concrete dates from your roadmap. The now next later roadmap can be shown in a variety of ways. However, tasks are typically broken down into discrete time frames, such as now, next, and later. In general, we can see more clearly and with greater certainty over the activities that we are working on now, while as we look further into the future, this clarity and certainty decrease and things become more hazy. This not only better illustrates the product's inherent unpredictability, but also gives us more leeway in determining how we ultimately achieve our goals. A release roadmap is a method of organizing your roadmap according to releases. Similar to the aforementioned roadmap examples, but with product releases instead of time or horizons on the x-axis. Each publication can have its own release date if you so choose. But keep in mind the drawbacks of dates, and in this case, you don't want to make promises about when a release will come out if it won't. Dates are a pain, so try to avoid them whenever possible. We'll release whenever we're ready. The theme roadmap, as the name implies, is a method for categorizing your route ahead by topic. This is ideal for presenting extensive amounts of data about complicated products or product lines in a clear and concise manner. The now next later roadmap, the timeline, and the release roadmap are all useful tools that can be used in tandem with the thematic roadmap to organize your roadmap. One of my favorite organizational methods is the tree roadmap. To my knowledge, it's also the least well-known, but its transformative potential is unparalleled. Tree roadmaps are great for visualizing not only the complexity of our products, but also the inherent uncertainty in our work. Think of a feature or outcome from a section of the roadmap where there are several different avenues to explore. This demonstrates that there isn't just one option for accomplishing anything, there are usually several. As a result, tree roadmaps allow us to make educated decisions based on the available data, mitigating the risk of getting stuck in a single path and having to backtrack. The difference between a theme roadmap and an outcome-based roadmap is that the latter centers on the final product rather than the process. This can also be accomplished with the help of alternative formats, such as the tree roadmap, now next later, release, and timeline. All product roadmaps should be pointing toward an outcome or set of outcomes, even if you don't choose to organize your roadmap specifically around outcomes. As its name implies, a customer journey roadmap is a method of organizing a roadmap in relation to a customer's experience. This could represent either your current or ideal customer's experience. A customer journey map is a visual picture of the customer or user journey. It helps you tell the story of your customer's experiences with your brand across social media, email, live chat, and any other channels they might use. However, keep in mind that user story maps are typically lower level and are better suited for backlog management. You can use the same approach and philosophy to sketch out a high level picture of your strategy for getting where you want to go, and then chunk it up a level or two until it fits in a roadmap. Subscribe to our channel for more. Stay tuned.